All right, welcome back. Half fast 719. Make sure you guys get down there, subscribe, hit that bell notification so when you uh, see my video post, you'll be the first ones to watch it. Anyway, found something to do. Uh, I'm going to get some gloves and ended up remembering I have this. It says Ulsa Tools uh, Toolbox Lining Mat. Ulsa Tools. So, this is the Factory Harbor Freight foam. You've seen these videos before of this stuff. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this drawer. Um, I'm going to do that drawer. Got this drawer for sure. You can see that Harbor Freight stuff's all pretty jacked up. Um, so, I'm probably going to end up doing. You can see that one's all jacked up. Bad. So I'll probably end up doing all these drawers. One, two, three, four, five, six drawers. Um, I'll end up doing those drawers. This drawer probably needs it, but I ain't worried about it. That drawer, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about that drawer. So for right now, um, yeah, and then this, this top drawer, that thing's a mess. I'm not doing that. Um, anyway, and then this is all done already. Because this stuff works really good and for some reason. Whatever they have in here, it kind of makes its own marks in here. And it just holds the tools. Unless you're like my kid and you come in here for a tool and you think uh, toolbox drawers need to be slammed and you throw them but uh yeah anyway see this ranch also tools I think it's well used I use that a lot um or when I gotta go s far away from the garage I guess like out to the barn um I always take that with me um because obviously it's a universal adjustable wrench for one and for two I can go out there I wish they I wish they would make this in a little bit bigger a little bigger tool maybe something this size or something that size um, with the increments on it and maybe have standard on one side which I already went over and metric on the other side um, because I go out there and I'll, I'll be using something and if I need a wrench too I can come back and say oh I need three quarter inch three quarter inch wrench um, but if it was metric I'd be able to sit tell the metric size too um, but the other day I went out to use it ended up needing uh, I can't really remember it was a it was a metric I want to say it was a 28 millimeter and uh, this is obviously too small so I went to go use it and it was too small and ended up coming back and grabbing a, crescent, a bigger adjustable crescent wrench um, but yeah so I do use this tool a lot um, for multiple reasons so anyway I'm gonna get with it I gotta empty all this junk out maybe I'll come through and find stuff in here that I don't need or something and uh, we'll go from there so uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it. So, let me get to it.
do buy this also tool stuff, this uh, toolbox liner. As you can see, I use this piece as like kind of a cushion to beat on stuff because it's very like impact, you know, I don't know, sound deadening, I guess you can call it. <clears throat> so if you were to buy the roll that I bought, that'll get you to do this big drawer big long if you had this Harbor Freight toolbox you can do that drawer one two and three these three drawers and one two three four five six and probably one more these drawers here so every one of these drawers except for the top one has that cushion so um, with this roll you can do like I said you can do this top drawer which is all done so this has it all in there do that big drawer and then I got two top drawers or wrenches. That drawer, so you got three long drawers, three mid drawers. I didn't do this one. That's the Harbor Freight crap. The bottom drawer, it's Harbor Freight junk, but I don't really need it because it's just all boxes. Um, And then these drawers, yeah, these drawers I don't have it um, because as you can see, I have like container stuff in there, which really doesn't, like this one moves around. You can see that one's all bunched up. So you could probably do one more drawer with this Maybe this, maybe two more drawers. Let's see. This is all the trash. So you could probably do. Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to do. Man, barely. Barely, barely, barely. You'd barely be able to do two more of the skinny drawers. So anyway, uh, I don't want to keep this or something because I'm a pack rat apparently. Um, but yeah, so that's the uh, also tools, uh, toolbox lining stuff. I finally got rid of that roll because I was looking for gloves and I remembered I have it. And I still have tool stuff down here. Um, that box is all the ball joints and stuff. So, anyway guys, uh, that's it for this video. I'm going to go try to find something else to do. I'm bored out of my mind. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But alright guys, subscribe. Check the link below for the also tool stuff. Um, they got a lot of cool tool stuff. Um, I guess they might have gotten a little bit too high up there because they're not even contacting me or saying anything to me about it is what it is um, so far the tools that I've gotten from them are pretty cool backpack I use tool line and stuff is awesome um, I just wish it was just a little bit longer two inches longer for a 20 inch 22 inch toolbox 22 inch depth toolbox it's only 19 inch uh, so two inches longer maybe three inches longer and that stuff will be perfect Patting down pretty good. Um, yeah, they have stuff that they need to work on on their tools, and maybe that's why they don't they don't contact me anymore. Um, but those are those are my ideas of the tools, and uh, if they don't like it, then they don't like it. Maybe that's why they haven't contacted me. But anyway, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. 
comment, subscribe, check the link out for osotools.com, and uh, let me go find something else to do, because that's it. That took about 20 minutes. All right, guys, later.